Timu. Timu? Tamu? 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 I've been saying it wrong this whole time. friends, it's me Lisa the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you clicked on this video because of the thumbnail, you're probably wondering, Temu has stuff for horses and equestrians? They do. I really hadn't given it much thought to looking for budget-friendly equestrian equipment and different things that I could use with my horses, but I thought, you know what, why not? Let me see if Temu has anything for equestrians. And before I get started, I do have to say, I have been pronouncing it Timu ever since I found out about this shopping website. But I guess it's not Timu, it is Temu, which I found out the correct way to pronounce the company's name was by watching a Super Bowl commercial. But now I know, and now you know too. I have shopped on Temu before, mainly for things for myself or crafting supplies and things like that. But I decided this order, I wanted to see what I could get for using with my horses. And I put everything in a Walmart bag because I tore apart the bag that I got everything in. So let me show you what I got and show you some of the things that you can find for horses on Temu. Now it is just about springtime, which means it's just about fly season. And I've seen the really cool leg protectors for horses, but they are fairly expensive. And Tamu had some. And I got a set of four of horse leg protectors for $10.98. I do believe that that is less expensive than shopping online. They do seem like they're pretty sturdy. So hopefully they are, and hopefully those will work really well for Jesse's legs. It does have a piece of thick plastic on the back portion of the wrap, so I'm thinking that's what's going to help it stay up. I'm gonna have to try them on Jesse and see how good they are before I turn him out with these on. But having something like this, if your horse is stomping a lot because the flies are bothering his legs, these are something really nice to try. And at around $11, that's a good deal. Now you might be wondering what these are, but these are silicone molds. And the reason I bought these was because recently I found a really neat horse treat company called Horse Whiskers. And what Horse Whiskers has done has made really fun sugar cubes in different shapes. So they have like stars and hearts and flowers. And I thought, how hard would it be to make sugar cubes? So I got these two silicone molds on Temu in order to create my own sugar cubes for my horses. The horse whiskers are really, they're really fun and I really like them and they do last a long time. But for a big container of the sugar cubes that are in fancy patterns, it's like $17. Well, $16.45. So I thought I would give it a try and see if I could make my own horse whiskers style sugar cube horse treats because my horses really like them. They have different flavors. I probably won't put flavors in mine, but those are pretty neat. And on Temu, these are very affordable. The heart-shaped silicone mold was $1.55 and the flower-shaped silicone mold was $1.78. I think that's a good deal, especially if it's just so I can make some horse treats for my horses. I do buy different things for myself on Temu. I've bought clothing and stuff and their clothes aren't that bad. They are very affordable. And most of the time, they're pretty, they're decent. They're, I wouldn't say they're the same quality. Let's say if you go to the store and buy something from Target or even Walmart. But I found this really pretty sweater set when we went to the horse shows last summer and I really liked it. But the sweater, I think it was by Hannah Childs, it was so expensive. It was over $100 for this sweater and I was like, there's no way, that's not even realistic. But I did find something similar on Temu, or at least I thought I did. And this is the sweater. So this was $8.47. And it it's okay, but it's not anything like I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a ribbed sweater. And it does have ribbing in it, but it's pretty, not so much a sweater. But $8.47. It's a nice long sleeve shirt, knit shirt. 
that I can wear around the barn when it warms up a little bit. Right now it's a little bit chilly, but for $9, I got a new barn sweater. Okay, so far the thing that I'm most pleased with getting is the fly wraps for Jesse's legs. I think those will be very nice and I think they will work. But I did find something very similar to something I already have, and that is this horse groomer. And this is supposed to be similar to the strip hair gentle groomer. Now the strip hair gentle groomer, it's very flexible and it's, it's a really nice tool. I love this thing. There's so many uses for this grooming tool. So I wanted to see what the Temu version was like. So if we compare them side by side, the Temu one is shorter. It is the same width, but the material that it's made from, it's not very flexible at all. It is similar on the back as far as it has these diamond groove patterns. And the part that you do the grooming with is very similar to the strip easy, but it is not a strip easy, not at all. So it's shorter, the width is about the same, but it's not nearly as flexible. Now I know the strip hair gentle groomer, these go for around $29, I think on Amazon, but the Temu version is a lot less expensive, so more affordable at $4.49. So if you've wanted a strip hair gentle groomer, I mean, you can try this and see how it works for you. I just like how the strip hair is more flexible. This one really doesn't have a lot of flex. And I don't know why it has those holes in the center. I don't know, maybe it's the manufacturing process. I don't know. But it might be worth a try for less than $5. And I was also looking for a nice, like, rub down towel or something that I could shine my horse's coat with after I got done grooming them. And I found this towel. It's an absorbent towel that looks like it will be perfect for what I want to use it for. So it even has a little hanger so I can hang it up, but I'll probably just, but I'll probably just keep it in my grooming kit. But the material is really soft. It feels like it's a microfiber type of a towel. And I think this will work perfect. And this towel is definitely a good size, perfect for using on my horses when I'm grooming them and want to rub them down. This is perfect. And this towel was $3.47. So I think that's a good deal. It feels like it's a good towel. It's a good quality. We'll have to see. But if you're looking for a more affordable, nice, soft towel, you might want to check out the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree has these white microfiber, really fluffy towels, and they are $1.25. I use these all the time with my horses. I use them in the house. They work, they work great for dusting. They also work really great for cleaning or dusting off your saddle, your bridles, boots, anything. And those towels are $1.25. But I wanted to try out the Temu version and see if it was worth it. It is a nice towel. I really do like it and hopefully it will last. Now, I don't know if you have seen my tie ring setup that I have, but I love the tie ring that I have. It is so amazing. That is like one of the best things that I bought for helping me with my horses and it keeps my horses safe if they pull back when they are tied up. And Tamu actually had a tie ring set so I wanted to get one to see if it was just as good a quality as the one that I already have. So it does come with three components. That's exactly what my original tie ring came with. So this big screw eye, he goes into the wood. At least on my hitching post that's how I have it set up. If you're going to be using this on a horse trailer uh, you just need this guy, the little snap. And it, this is a heavy duty snap. Very nice. And the most important part of this is the safety ring itself. Now, when I fling that up, it feels pretty flimsy. The magnet does not feel as strong as my original tie ring. I'm sure it will work, but again, I think the original is probably better. And I know that you can shop around and find the original right now for about $24. And this one on Temu was $15.98. So I don't know that I would recommend getting this from Temu. I would just get the original because I know it works and it's sturdy. It's stainless steel. I've had mine for probably, oh my gosh, at least six or seven years and I have it permanently mounted on my hitching post. And that, like I said, that's probably one of the best things that I bought for keeping my horses safe and myself safe when I'm grooming them or when they're tied up. So go with the original. I don't think I could really recommend this one. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
it seems like every time that I buy a piece of clothing from a company in China that I'm a little disappointed in the quality to say the least. And I don't know about you, but I get these ads popping up all the time with this shirt. It's pretty cute, right? Well, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more like a sweater. Again, it's not. It's just a printed material. So it is cute. It's got horse heads going in and out. That is super cute. It was $6.99, so I will wear it. I think it might be a little bit big though. Maybe not, I don't know. I'll have to try it on and see. But that type of material, it's not even knit. It's like a polyester. So I don't wanna wear it like right now because it's really cold outside. But maybe in the summertime, that will be nice. Looking at it on camera, I can say that it looks really cute, but don't be deceived. It's not a sweater material. It's literally a polyester. But for seven bucks, it's not bad. And I do like that pattern. When I'm riding my horse, I love ear bonnets. I also like being matchy matchy, but ear bonnets can be very, very expensive. Just as an example, I bought this one from Equestrian Stockholm and it matches a saddle pad for my horse. And this was around $47. So if you go with the name brand ear bonnets, they are pretty expensive. This is one I got from Equaline and I know the Equaline ear bonnets are around $100. I would never pay $100 for an ear bonnet even though it came from Equaline, but I got this at Christmas time when they were having a mystery box sale. So hopefully they do that again next Christmas because I got some really nice things that I would otherwise never even consider buying because it's very expensive. They do have really good quality products, but $100 for your ear bonnet, that's just too much money. So imagine my surprise when I'm shopping on Temu and they had ear bonnets. Yeah, so this is the ear bonnet that I got on Temu and honestly it's not horrible. It has lycra ears which are really nice because it will keep the bugs out of my horse's ears and it's stretchy. So it's not cotton which is really stiff. The lycra is really nice. The brown is really pretty and I really like that rose colored cording. I think it looks very pretty. And this was a lot more affordable than the other ear bonnets I found in the past. So this ear bonnet from Temu was $9.98. That's really not a bad price if you want to see if an ear bonnet will work for your horse. I think my horse likes it because he's not shaking his head as much when I'm riding him because there's no little flies and no CMs flying into his ears when we're out working. But a fly veil for less than $10, I think that's a good deal. Okay, I got another knockoff. So the product that I got is going to be a knockoff of the Sleek Easy. This is something that I think every grooming kit should have, especially at this time of year. It's March, so that means it's just about shedding season. And the Sleek Easy is amazing. It, this is a great product for getting your horse to shed. And it's just really satisfying to see all of that hair coming off when you're grooming your horse. And Temu had something similar. It's not the same thing. It comes in a box like this. So it is plastic where the Sleek Easy is wood, but the case is actually very nice. And the middle section where you're going to hold on to has like a non-slip surface to it. So that, I do like that. The blade itself is a little bit different than the Sleek Easy. It's more like teeth than like the rippled little teeth on the Sleek Easy. And this groomer is $5.98 versus my Sleek Easy, which I know, I think it was around $20. So six bucks versus $20. I definitely think that's worth six bucks. We'll give it a go and see how it goes, see how well this works. And I was in desperate need of a new hoof brush and this one was $2.98. A hoof dressing brush is a hoof dressing brush, I'm thinking, I'm hoping. But while I was shopping, I was like, well, let's give that a try and see how it works. But that has a nice holder on it and the bristles are actually nice. So I do feel that that is a nice addition to my grooming kit. $2.98, why not, right? And because I always lose my riding gloves, I thought I would give the riding gloves on Temu a try. And these are not horrible. So they have a printed surface on the hand, which actually feels like that would give you some grip. It has a Velcro closure at the wrist. Those are actually really nice. Let's try on a pair of reins. 
I really like those. Those are very nice. I'm sure they're going to be lightweight because they're pretty thin gloves. I am really surprised at how nice those are. But now let's do the true test. Let's see if I can use it with my phone. I can use, I can use the gloves with my phone. That is really good. And what's even better is the price. These gloves were $4.13. I think the equestrian riding gloves on Temu are definitely worth looking into if you're needing a pair of gloves. Maybe not for showing like the higher level shows, but I think they would do fine for local shows or if you're just looking for a new pair of gloves because you've misplaced your other ones. All right, I got another knockoff. So this is the Flare Star Expanding Sponge. Now, have you seen the Tiger Tongue Sponges? Those sponges are incredible. They work so good. So many uses around your property and with your horse. But they're around $10. So let's see what this Flare Star Expanding Sponge, how big it gets. Yeah, that's not anything like the Tiger Tongue Sponge. It does have a nice abrasive surface. So I can see where I could use that for bathing my horses, but I was hoping this was going to be like the tiger tongue sponge, but it's not. This definitely falls short of that. The tiger tongue sponge is definitely abrasive. It works great to get dirt and dust off your horse. It also works really well for cleaning out your water tank or your horse's buckets. I could probably do that with this too, but it's just not the same as the Tiger Tongue Sponge. However, this sponge is a lot more affordable at $1.79 versus the Tiger Tongue Sponge, which is around $10, nine or $10. So I don't know where I first learned about these plastic brushes, but I have one and I really like it. The bristles are starting to get a little flayed out and Temu has that style of brush. And I got two of them for $3.48. I think that's about what I paid for the original one that I have. And forgive the dirtiness of my brush, but this is my original one. And this is the one from Temu. So it looks like it's the same size, same shape. The bristles on the Temu one are a little bit less flexible. So they're very, very stiff. On these, they're actually really soft. So I don't know about this one. Maybe if your horse has is really muddy, but I really like the original one that I got and I got this at Riding Warehouse years ago. I don't even know if they still carry them, but it's a really nice all-purpose brush for your horse. This one feels a little brutal. It's, I mean, they sound the same but the bristles on this one are really, really stiff. So I don't know that I would really recommend these. <laughs> All right, this is kind of a letdown. This is a bummer. I was looking for a heavy duty chain for my horse's stall. I, this might work, but it's not as heavy duty as I was thinking it would be that I can wrap on the stall gate to the main portion of the stall. So the stationary part of his pen that I don't think that's gonna be strong enough. But I do like those. The carabiners, those are actually pretty, pretty substantial. Better than the Dollar Tree ones that I have on right now. So I think I am going to take those carabiners and put those on the chains that I already have on my horse's pens. And this chain with those carabiners was $4.24. If you have a horse that likes to push on a gate, I, I don't think I can recommend that. Okay, this is gonna seem kind of silly, but I needed a new pair of slippers. And actually, these were just too cute. I could not say no to these. They're so cute. They're not horses, they're cows, but they're really nice. And I do like, it's got like a lip in the back holding your heel in, so you're not gonna lose your slippers when you're running around your house. Those are really nice. The bottom is plastic, so I could probably go out and get my horse's feed buckets in the morning and not worry that my feet are gonna get wet. I actually like those, they're super cute. And they were very affordable at $6.28. So Temu does have some nice slippers. With some of these things being really great and some of these things not being great, I don't really have high hopes for this. But while I'm looking at it, it looks really nice. So I was needing a new riding crop one that didn't have like the end gone or the handle all broken apart. So I got one on Temu and actually 
this is very, very nice. I love that handle grip and the silver accents. That really seems like a nice quality writing crop. And the best part of this, this was $6.28 for a very nice writing crop. Pretty nice. Don't worry, I don't beat my horses. All right, now the last thing that I bought on Temu, and I have the intention of putting it here in my tack room, is a floor coat rack. Now that might sound a little crazy, a floor coat rack, but my intention is to put it up on top of my cupboard unit here so that I have more storage for my tack room. So the shelving unit has five shelves that are one solid piece, and then it also has a bunch of coat hooks that are on the top of it. So I can see where you could use this as a coat rack in your home, your apartment, wherever, even your tack room. But I wanna use it for possibly bridles, halters, lead ropes, and some extra storage to keep all of my horse items together. And this was the most expensive item that I bought and I paid $18.98. That's more affordable than the plastic shelving units that you can find at places like Walmart or Target. This is steel. I'm not sure how strong of steel, but I'm gonna find out. And if I had not taken so long telling you about all of the different treasures that I found on Tamu, I was planning on putting it together and showing it to you, but I will have to save that for another video because I think that is about enough out of me for today. And hopefully I've helped you if you are debating if you should be ordering anything from Tamu or not, especially things that are horse related or equestrian related. Some of the things I really think are worth it, like the gloves, the riding crop, and the fly boots, I think those will be great. Some of the other things, not so much. Now, I know a lot of people do these Temu unboxing videos, and then they leave a link for you because they are an affiliate of Temu. I am not an affiliate of Temu, and I wanted to share my thoughts on their products with you without you feeling like, hey, I'm pushing you to go buy some stuff from them. If you go buy stuff from them, great. All you gotta do is look up Temu and you can find them. And I really didn't want you to feel that I was not being genuine with my thoughts. How about you? Have you found any really neat horse-related items on Temu? Leave a comment down below and let the rest of us know so we can search out the treasures that you found. And I just wanted to say a big thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to click that subscribe button. And then if you click that bell notification, you'll be alerted every time I have a new video coming out. It's springtime. That means I've got horse stuff to do and I want to share it with you. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.